All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Jay Dizzle, man. So today, okay. So I just dropped my whole entire camera on the floor. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> but I'm going to show you the good and the bad. Uh, today is January 6th. Today will be my official first day for the Bodybuilding.com Challenge Series. Um, I'm just leaving work, so I'm about to go hit some cardio. I'm starting to. I'm starting my week out with cardio and abs. And then I'll start my weight training tomorrow on the Body Beast program uh, with International Chest Day. Um, going back to a split chest and tries, back and buys, shoulders and legs, cardio and abs. So um, I, I'm going to, when I get home, I'm going to upload the workout into my Body Space app um, for uh, bodybuilding.com. In case you don't know, bodybuilding.com has a fitness uh social media called body space you know where people just wanting to be inspired by other people in the fitness um can go and not really be judged um you know for all the fitness posts because usually you know you post things on uh facebook or instagram people get tired of seeing that but you know on body space it's like everybody's doing that you can post your workouts you can track your workouts it's, it's a really cool app um i've showed it before but in case you're new here um, I'll show it again when I get home. I'm not really going to record a whole lot at the gym today. I'm just going to do my usual run on the treadmill and some light ab work, and then that's about it. I've uh, been having a great new year. I hope you guys are having a great new year, man. Let's kick 2019 off right, guys, okay? Let's kick those resolutions. Let's turn those resolutions into goals, and let's kill them, all right? So I've got big plans for this year. Um, I will link my... Uh, New Year's goals, not resolutions video right here with the little card. But um yeah, man, I'm ready to I'm ready to do this, man. Ready to do this. I'm ready to make a big transformation for this challenge, man. I want to be in the winner circle. You feel me? Um I also got I got a shout out first for them because they shouted me out during the eight week challenge and they sent me a fifty dollar gift card uh that I used to actually buy a couple shirts. So when I get those I'll do an unboxing for you guys. All right. So that's all I got for you right now. I will see you guys in the next clip. see me man in the gym just got to the gym man about to hit some cardio and abs uh it is about four o'clock so after work i just went home and uh spent a little bit of time with my daughter and our new dog <laughs> that she got for christmas and um so now i'm here in the gym about to get this cardio on about to get started and then i gotta go to the dollar store and get some here let me take this hat off so y'all can see me <laughs> So after, after the cardio, about to go get to uh, go to Dollar General. I gotta get a couple things there. I'm gonna get some, pick up some salmon from there. Um, I've already got my veggies, and I, I need to get some brown rice as well. And uh, my mom wants a couple things too. Um, so yeah, really uneventful today, man. Just really kind of just getting into the the whole challenge thing again, and just getting geared up for the next 12 weeks. I like 12 week challenges rather than the eight, you know, that we just did with first form. I feel like I can plan a little bit better. And now that the holidays are over and my overtime is over at work, um, I'm gonna get a little bit better uh, results this time. Like I said, I'm following the Body Beast program. It's a really good program. So something, you know, it's made for the home. You know, it's a homework, it's supposed to be a home workout, but um, you know, I'm altering things for the gym. So like a couple of exercises that they do, um, I'm just going to change it for the gym, you know, and it's okay to do that, you know, you don't have to, you know, stick to exactly everything you're saying, you know, individual results will vary, you know, they say work at your own pace or work at your own fitness level, things like that, so it's okay to alter anything, you know, alter things or whatever, so, you know, call it audible, baby, all right, so that's enough talk, man, I'm about to get up on this cardio, I'm trying to, I've been consistently getting about five and a half, six miles on the treadmill, man, it's really good, so, um, I'm going to be doing a lot of the body beast cardio, which is more, you know, plyometric type stuff, which I hate doing, but anyway, so, um, let's just go into it, baby. I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, guys, man, great run. I got, uh, five and a half miles in 
And uh, I was trying, I wanted to show you guys this thing, this note that they have on the door, because a guy and some woman came. And people do this all the time. They want to roll up to the gym. Now, I go to Anytime Fitness, and they are very strict about, you know, uh, we have key five access. It's a 24-hour gym. Um, you can go to any gym after, you know, after you initially sign up for it, after 30 days, you can go to any Anytime Fitness gym around the world, right? But you have to have the key fob. So they're very strict about that. So, you know, it's a security risk to not only me and other members, but it's a security, it's a security risk to the gym. I don't know if these people are actually members. You know, they can come in and rob the gym and, you know, take everything out of the gym. You know, so these people wanted me to let them in and I'm like, if you're not a member and have key fob access, you know, you should have your key fob. And if you don't have a key fob, I can't let you in, I can't help you. They have a big ass sign posted um, that says they will charge me a hundred dollars if I let people in that aren't members, you know, so Whether they're members or not is beside the point. You should have the key five, you know, don't roll into the gym and then expect people to let you in. I don't know you, so I don't owe you anything, okay? If it was somebody that I actually knew, that I see all the time and frequents the gym, I probably would, you know, take that risk and, you know, and all that good stuff, but I'm not gonna risk my membership for that, you know, for people I don't know, all right? So um, when I go to another location, I will show you guys that sign. So that's all I got for you right now. I'm about to hit the showers and um, go to the Dollar General and pick up some essentials for my nutrition. All right, let's go. All right, guys, just real quick, man. Uh, my camera died as soon as I got to the dollar store, so uh, I just picked up some uh, sweet potato fries. Uh, these are really good. I've shown these before on the channel. These Alexia sweet potato fries, really, really good. And then they didn't have my salmon, so I just cleaned them out on their tilapia. These are like single uh, packages or whatever. It's really, really good. Then I got some 80-20 ground beef, and I'm going to have that with the sweet potato fries. All right, what's up, guys, man? I always feel like I'm recording on my phone. I always feel like this is, like, super close. And uh, so, like, when I hit the record button, like, when, I, when I'm setting up the camera, <laughs> it's, like, it's far away. And then when I hit record, it's, like, bam, like, j Dog's right in your face. Anyway, so I had to push you guys back a little bit. But anyway, man, day one complete. Um, just cardio on abs today. Then I had to do a little shopping. Uh, I'll probably do a grocery haul for day two and um, things like that. Uh, so I had to pick up some stuff from my mom. She, she wanted some of my Pepsi and stuff like that. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> anyway, um, so, but what I wanted to leave you guys with is just for day one, man, super quick video is that, you know, this is a mental challenge, guys. It's, it's one that you are going to, you're, you're gonna have some ups and downs, man. You're gonna have some pitfalls through this 12 weeks. You know, we all start out on fire. We already, you know, it's the new year. It's the new me attitude, and you know we all want to, you know, change and get healthy, you know, for the new year and everything like that. And that's, and that's a great, that's a great, um, you know, idea to have. But you have to set a plan in place. You know, um, that's like what I said in my in my goals video uh, for 2019. You know, it's like don't just have a dream of getting fit in 2019. Actually, have a plan. Have have a you know have a a yearly plan and say each week I'm going to tackle that uh, that plan like this, this, and this. You know, have it laid out, have it structured, uh, just like you have other things in your life structured, okay? Um, so like today, I, I made sure that I read for an hour in my book, like I said I was going to do. Um, I got my cardio and abs in, like I said I was going to do. You know, I, I mapped it all out and, and I got it done. Now, it doesn't matter what time you get it done. You might say, hey, I want to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and I want to go get my workout in. Okay, well, maybe you didn't get up at 4 o'clock, so you might have to, you know, go after work or go on your lunch break or something like that. Guys, set yourself up for success, okay? So, like I said, this challenge is more of a mental one than a physical one because I can be in the gym all day, okay? I, I love working out. I love I love lifting. I love cardio. I just I love all aspects of the fitness uh, industry, if you will. So, guys, man, um, I hope you, you know, follow me on this 12-week journey, man. Um, you know, I, I just want to do a lot of 
different series like this, you know, showing me going from fat to fit again and, and getting on that stage again. It's a dream of mine, it's a passion, and I'm turning it into a goal. So I, guys, I want you guys to go through this week and set goals, man. Write them down. Look at them every day. Post them up like on, on your wall. Like I have my, my calendar on my, on, my, on my door. And I look at those things every day. Like I, I plan the next day out on my calendar. And I also use my Google Calendar on my phone to you know, remind me of certain things as well. And, and so then I can look back and say, okay, I accomplished this and I accomplished that. Okay, I didn't get this in, but, you know, I can stretch that out until the next day or something like that. You know, things are just going to come up, guys. Um, you know, Murphy's Law, <laughs> whatever will happen, whatever can happen will happen, right? <laughs> you know, so don't be discouraged, guys, when, when bad things happen. Don't, you know, don't fall off the wagon after two days of, you know, well, we're six days into New Year now. <laughs> uh, yeah, six days. Five, yeah, six days into New Year now. And, you know, it's like, don't fall off the wagon already, guys. You know, um, you're going to have adversities. You're going to have trials and tribulations, man. But if you just stay true to what you said. And you know what? And it doesn't matter what other people are saying about uh, what you're doing. You know, if you're going on a transformation challenge, transformation journey, whatever, you do that, you know. F what everybody else is saying, you know. It's like me. I'm on this debt-free journey, um, and people, they're like, oh, man, you're going to get another job. Like, you're going to be burnt out. You're going to be stressed. Okay, but I want to get out of debt by the end of 2019, and I want to build a future for me and my daughter, you know. So I don't care if you think I'm going to be stressed out or, or, or burnt out or everything like that. This is me, and it's my life, you know, and it's something that I have to do, you know. And um, so, and that's the way you got to approach this transformation challenge as well. You know, you don't have to tell everybody, you know, if they see you eating salads and you used to be eating ribs and burgers all the time, just be like, yeah, you know, I'm trying to eat healthy, you know, things like that. And pretty much people will move on, you know, but when you start saying, oh, I'm trying to do a transformation challenge and you know, the prize is 50K, people, once again, those people are going to put that doubt into your head like, oh, that's stupid or, oh, you can't do that. Or, you know, I tried it and it didn't work and this, that, and the third, and they'll put that little seed of doubt in your head. And they'll knock you off your game, all right? So I want you guys to stay diligent, stay true to what you said you were going to do in 2019, and let's get this shit done, all right? That's all I got for you right now. I'll see you on the next one. I love you, and there's nothing that you can do about that baby. It's your boy Jay with Jay's Life Journey. Peace.